and we are back. Gonna now set apart, set upon our quest to climb the steps to the grey bits. It's no easy thing to make a living in the wilds of Skyrim. Don't worry. I'll play my part. You fight well. I do fight well. Those mages up in Winterhold have been trying to figure out how many dragons there are in Skyrim. Well, I'd rather not meet any more. Ugh. In actual fact, quickly just check. That should do it, I think. I'll need to bathe thoroughly to get this stench off me. Oh, I wanted to kill a goat. This land's tough and unforgiving, but beautiful too. Oh. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. I like to spend time up here, walk the steps, meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. They're not the sort to take visitors, but I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials, but not to make conversation. I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. Don't worry. I wonder I'll what it means. No idea. That's what I'm going to find out. All right then. Pressing the wrong button, we have to switch though. It, it's very confusing for me to have my right hand operated by my left mouse button. This land's tough and unforgiving. I'm sorry to say. Jesus, fall. I want my right hand operated by my right mouse button and my left hand operated by my left mouse button. Trash is another's treasure. It'd make more sense. Yeah. Say done it again. Well. It's just instinct.
Oh, it looks that. Well, of course, it's my mage light. See me. I've heard those mages up in Winterhold have been trying to figure out how many dragons there are in Skyrim. Kill more goats. It's been a brutal winter. thoroughly to get this stench off me. Okay, it's quite high up here now, but it's getting quite snowy and cold. <sighs> At least I've got auto loot on there. But it's set correctly, so I'm not going to pick up everything. But I've got it set to pick up most of like the flora anything to do with alchemy really as I'm this walking is past bushes is what reminds us to draw breath chick chick just saves a bit of time this land's tough and unforgiving but beautiful too Hello? Keep an eye out for wolves. Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Okay. Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Okay. I. Apparently there's wolves. Need to be on my lookout for wolves then. Don't worry. I'll play my part. Um what is that? Uh Lydia. You hear all this talk about a war? I hope What's it that? Comes here. Let's do Ah, uh, this is going to be. Okay, that's great. What? Missed him. I 
need to work quick because she will die. And she has died. Ah, frustrating. Has anybody saw my last video? It's all the outtakes. Ah, well, no. Unfortunately, Lydia here is not essential. Like every other character now in this game, because I have modded it so that nobody is unkillable. Or, should I say, I've modded it so no one is unable to die. <sighs> Unfortunately, for me, that means good old Lydia. <sighs> oh, I feel so sorry for her. I'm going to add her to my inventory. I can't leave her up here on the mountain. I'm going to have to take her with me. But yes, that is one of the reasons why I was thinking I'm not going to play this game with followers. because they're just too weak. They're going to get killed. Be a bit different when I'm a bit higher level and I recruit followers that are higher level who can hold their own a bit better in combat but right now because she's she was um, level to my level she just wasn't strong enough. And it's a shame. Basically means I've lost my um, pack mule. Which now means I'm actually going to have to go and invest in a horse. To carry all my burdens. Yes, and now I'm carrying too much to be able to run. I didn't really expect to have to carry all Lydia's crap. Because <laughs> I wasn't expecting Lydia to die. Oh, my vision's getting blurry because I'm getting cold. I've leveled. Really? Uh, let's take magic. Up. 
don't really have anything that I can put perks into at the moment, so I'm just going to hang on to them for now. Oh, I wasn't wearing my hood. Wait, I am wearing my hood. And my hair is clipping through it. Oh, that's to sort that out. Minus 57 exposure. I'm getting cold. I'm freezing, apparently. I've got to make a campfire. Or more. My okay, this is going to get life-threatening. Okay, I've managed to warm up a little bit. Still need to get to the grey beards. I can think I may have missed some other exemplars because the numbers have gone up from like four to what was that eight? Looks like I finally made it to the top.
taking a long time. Emblem 9. Definitely think I missed some somewhere. Oh, I'm still freezing. Hence why my vision's getting more blurry and horrible. I've nearly made it. should have some supplies. Yeah. Just give them a few bits and pieces. That should hopefully do that, shouldn't it? Full barrow down there. Oh, well, let's get inside. It's too cold out here for me. What do these grey beards want? So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? We are the Greybeards. Yes. Followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky, and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. 
You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Ah, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thoom, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, Force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Whoa, that's a neat trick. How do you do that? You learn a new word like a master. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Whoa. Now, let us see how quickly you can master your new form. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Well done. Again. <laughs> I keep knocking over that fella. You learn quickly. Perhaps you should stand further Once away. More. Seriously, man. You might want to just back up a talk. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Okay. Master Bori. Look! A core! We will now see how you learn a completely new shot. Master Bori will teach you Wood, which means Whirlwind. Whirlwind. Huh? You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thum. Okay. Approach Master Bori and he will gift you his knowledge of Wold.
That is so cool. When am I going to be able to do that? Now we will see how quickly you can master a new shout. Master Wolfgar will dem. Straight whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. Rex! Wolf! Now, it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Rex! I made it! Wow! It's quite a useful skill. Your quick mastery of a new thum is... Uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Yes, that's a good question, actually. Why are the dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? Am I the no cause? Doubt. The appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many Dragonborn before you. Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that Dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later, when you are ready. Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood. And you okay. learn it almost without effort. Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Who was Jürgen Winkel? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords. A master of the voice, or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Okay. 
Well, I think I've heard north. Wind I am going to uh, guide you. I am uh, going to go and make my way now, I suppose. Back to. Uh, civilization. But first, I'm going to get warm. Well, that is a very welcome sight. Being able to see Ivar start again. My uh, adventure down the mountain was. <laughs> Quite a lengthy and tedious experience. I'm glad I didn't film it. And you people watching will be glad to know that you're not going to have to sit through that. That was a terrible experience coming down that mountain. The combination of being over encumbered and uh, having Frostfall installed. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Really? Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Uh, inheritance letter? In who the fuck's died? How does he know she's dead? Because she died all there with me. And so far, I thought I was the only one aware that she was dead. Until I get back to uh, to town and uh, I'm able to give her a proper burial. And the cow moon. Um, why do I get the impression that people with masks? You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Then it is too late. The lie has already taken root in the hearts of men. So we shall expose to them the falseness in their hearts by tearing out yours, deceiver. When Lord huh? Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Thank you. Cuz I wasn't ready for that. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked Whiterun. How could mere men bring down such a beast? I'm disappointed in you, elf. Attacking one of your own. Thinking, maybe I'm the Dragonborn. I just don't know it yet. Uh, well, when some guys in mask run up and attack you, you'll know it. You 
you'll know it. Right, sell some of my crap that I've now collected and inherited from Lydia. And then, have a look at the old journal and see what is next on my list of things to do. Yes? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them right. treasures. First of all, let me have a look at what I'm getting rid of. Right, what have you got then, lady? I'm going to take your lockpicks off you so I can get into uh, all manner of things. Very good. Oh, I. Bow's a little bit decent, but that's about it. All right then. Oh, at least I'm back under my weight limit. Right. Uh, let's go find the cat. Welcome to the Villamere Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. You don't look like a pilgrim. Mm -hmm. Why bother visiting? I have my news for you on your seven thousand. Like so seven. soon? This is not a good sign. Bah! Out with it before I lose my patience. I think you should continue with your performances. What's the point? I'm not very good, and it's only for the same few people every night. I think you played beautifully. Daraki does not believe you. He thinks you have been corrupted. How much are they paying you? They're not. He's beginning to suspect this conspiracy goes much deeper than he imagined. What do you want? Oh, failed. Why? Yes. Speak. Yes. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. Okay, let's go find I the dude the who needs hiding. the, um, whose package I delivered. 
Is he over here? Ah, good to see you again. How'd that delivery go? Quite a climb, wasn't it? Anyway, much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. Ooh, 500 gold. And a chicken's egg. Very useful. Thanks again for the legwork. Okay. Well... I'm thinking to myself... Hmm? Some advice, friend. That armor won't offer much protection in a real fight. Be careful. Son of a bitch. Yeah, and you know what, Mr. Guard, thank you for your uh, reassuring vote of confidence in my armour. Dawson doesn't give me much protection from cold. So I may have to uh, go and have a look and see if I can't uh, find or buy some better armour. Again, making sure I obey my number one rule. No crafting my own armor. Anyway, I think that's enough for this video. I really do. And uh, I will see you again in the next episode. <laughs>